As Colorado pushes for more students to complete a degree or credential, there's an alarming gap when it comes to who finishes college here and who doesn't. Take a look at these numbers here. Nearly 60% of white residents in our state have some kind of college credential. Meanwhile, it's 38% for black residents of Colorado and just 25% of Latino Coloradans. That's one of the largest attainment gaps in the country. So we wanted to talk with Jason Gonzalez from Chalkbeat Colorado about this. Uh, Jason, I know you've been doing a lot of reporting on the college attainment issue. So thanks for joining us to talk about this today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, as I mentioned, you, you've done a lot of reporting on this. So what are some of the factors leading to these disparities? Um, there are many reasons for this happening. Um, you know, the biggest reason right now um, is that we're seeing a lot of students who during the pandemic right now not going, but before during the last decade, um, really those uh, things that factor in are students who went to college but uh, didn't finish. There's about mm -hmm. 700,000 over the last um, uh, 10, 20 years or so that have accumulated that haven't finished their degree. Um, and a lot of the reasons why students either didn't go or didn't finish include money, um, life circumstances such as family obligations, um, uh, jobs, trying to work while they're yeah. trying to balance school. And so it just creates a really difficult environment for them to either go or finish. Yeah, and from what I understand, it's not just four year degrees. Uh, data is finding that uh, people aren't finishing associate degrees or other programs as well. I know that our community colleges aren't seeing the numbers they used to see. Yeah, enrollment right now at community colleges is um, a but very low compared to uh, before the pandemic. And um, usually what we'd see during that time is, is some increase, but mm -hmm. uh, we're just, we're uh, because of recessions, but we're just not seeing that at this mo moment. So um, we're, we have this last decade of students who either didn't go or didn't finish that are really creating this bigger problem for the state of um, through the pandemic and, and kind of moving forward. That's, that's, uh, you know, just attracting students and getting yeah. a more educated population is very difficult right now. I want to talk about some of the solutions here. You've found some programs that are helping students uh, by encouraging them to finish what they start. Uh, where are these programs happening and, and what are they about? So this is a statewide program and it's modeled off of um, Pueblo Community Call or sorry, uh, Yes, Pueblo Community College's uh, return to earn program. Mm. And so that what they did when they started that was just provided financial incentive for students to return those 700,000 across the state, you know, just hey, here's some money, come back, finish that degree. Uh, so the state adopted that and said, let's, you know, use federal pandemic money um, that we we got, let's put 49 million to it and let's incentivize getting students across the state back to college. Um, so we have 30 college campuses that are uh, part of what's called finish what you started and they're hoping to get more students finished up. I think a lot of students might be, you know, reading stories right now with the headlines, is college worth it? And as you pointed out, they got jobs that were paying more money as wages have gone up. Um, what do you think the state needs to do to make sure people know, young people know that degrees still lead to, to better careers and, and, and higher pay and income in the future? Everyone that I talked to, um, whether the students or their experts said, hey, you know, once we finish college, um, we had better pay. I, I do realize right now that um, jobs are paying more than ever for entry level. But um, if you look at the numbers across the country for public colleges, 86% mm -hmm. of all col public colleges produce return on what students spend within five years. So it's, it is a an actual really great value proposition for those residents here in the state. Um, it's just a lot of that right now hasn't been communicated mm. um, exactly like it's supposed to, or it's not in this kind of greater way. And part of that is because some of this data is kind of new, but um, I, I, th I think a lot of the experts really think say that um, you can can lean on that and you can really start to attract those students, um, especially because this the state economy needs those educated workers. Yeah, well, and as they see this data, maybe they will uh, step up those efforts. Uh, Jason Gonzalez with Chalkbeat Colorado. Thanks as always, and I'm sure we'll talk more about it in the future.